today's video is going to be all about this little guy. Eduardo is four months. Say hello. Say hi. Can you see yourself? You can. He's finally out of that like baby baby stage. I think that my sister-in-law summed it up the best because she told me after I had Amelia that the first three months of the baby's life is like the fourth trimester. It's when they're just trying to get used to like life outside the womb and this is so true. That's kind of the stage where they're just really baby babies and they just sleep all day. But now he, I feel like he's coming into his own personality and he's just becoming a little person finally. He has started teething like 100%. He's drooling all the time, he's biting on his hands, he's eating his hands, he's putting everything he can possibly find into his mouth. He is definitely getting his two bottom front teeth. I can see that they're kind of almost there. He hasn't got them yet, but I can sometimes in some lights I can see them like just under the gums, which was the same as Amelia. Teething means a lot less sleeping, especially at night time, which has been kind of tough. I have been quite exhausted just because he feeds sometimes not even for actual food or nourishment, it's more just for comfort. So that can get a little bit exhausting. He's still sleeping in his little co-sleeper right over there, which he'll probably stay in until he's about six months. I don't plan to move him to his own room until he's at least six months. I haven't started doing nap times in his bed yet, but I think I probably will have to because he's definitely gotten to the stage where he gets distracted by things now, whereas before he wasn't. Like, for example, if he is feeding, and Emilia makes a noise or if she comes up to him and says something, he's straight off the boob. It's the most annoying thing, and I remember it with Emilia too, when they stop feeding like well in public or if there's too much going on, they just won't, they get really distracted so easily. And it is quite annoying because you can't, you don't feel like you get a proper feed unless you go to like a quiet room or something. He's looking at the light, he's like, wow. I also think that he is, becoming a little bit blonder, like his hair is getting a bit blonder. I might be imagining it, but sometimes in some lights it looks almost blonde, whereas he was quite dark when he first came out, so his eyes are still brown. He got his first vaccinations finally, which he did really well with. He actually just got them yesterday and he was amazing. I did not expect him to recover that well. Like he hardly cried and then he didn't even get a temperature or anything and he didn't even, feel out of it or different, I don't think, because he just acted normal the whole day. I remember with Amelia, she slept the whole day after and it was kind of weird, but she was a little bit smaller, so maybe that has something to do with it. All he wants to do is sit and stand, but Amelia did not want to stand for a lot longer, so that's a big difference between the two of them. She just wanted to sit, I remember, whereas he often wants to just stand and he will lock his legs and like lock his knees and actual, actually stand for a good amount of time, like right now. <sighs> he's also picking everything up now and he's kind of getting, his coordination is getting better so you can see there's like fluff all in his hand. <laughs> he's actually bringing things closer to his mouth and you know, putting things into his mouth and holding things for longer periods of time and getting used to realizing that his hands are his own. He wanted boob, so quick pit stop. He is obsessed with Amelia still. I know I've said that before, but loves Amelia. He is definitely looking for more to interact with and more to do. So we got him an Exer saucer, which we had for Amelia as well. Not the same one, but we had something similar for her just so that he could, you know, sit in something and be entertained and distracted by things because I feel like he, he wants that. He doesn't want to just be lying down on the floor anymore or lying in a swing anymore. He wants to be like entertained and he wants to play. We also have started putting him in his high chair at mealtime so that he can be a part of the family even though he is not eating yet. He's purely on breast milk still but he just likes to be a part of the family and he likes to be sitting up with everybody so we started that. As far as postpartum with me goes, I'm pretty much the same as I was last month I would say like body wise and just everything else wise. The only thing that I have noticed though is that my hair has started falling out. Like I lose so much hair every time I wash my hair, which is every three days. And it's like 
anytime I run my fingers through my hair, it, like clumps come out. So that did not happen with Amelia actually. I never lost hair and I had more hair then because I don't think I cut my hair until she was like four or five months. So that was definitely new. I was not expecting that. I know it's something that happens to a lot of women, but I, I just wasn't expecting it. I'm not too worried about it though because I have a lot of hair to begin with anyway. So, so it's not something that really worries me. It's just annoying. Like it gets over my clothes. It just gets all over the floor and I keep hoovering it up and it just gets everywhere, all over the bathroom, the sink. It's just annoying. I will show you guys my belly at four months postpartum even though I think it's pretty much the same as it was last month. I just need to put on some shorts because I'm currently wearing a dress, so bear with me. So I just slipped on some pajama shorts so that I could show you guys the belly. But this is what it looks like at four months postpartum. I don't really know if it's changed a lot from last month. I don't think it really has. But that's what it looks like. That is our update. If you guys want to see four month pictures, I will put them on my blog, as well as some pictures of my belly if you're interested in them. Let me know if you like these updates. If you want to see more, give this video a thumbs up. Sorry about the impromptu breastfeeding, but that's just how we are. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye.